northern China, 1215 AD. The Mongols are coming. 50,000 warriors. The world's greatest cavalry army. Their leader? Genghis Khan. One of the bloodiest warlords in human history. His target? Chengdu. Today's Beijing, China's capital city. Cities are key to the story of mankind. Centers of power, learning, and wealth. They need protecting. Chengdu has 18 miles of battlements, 40 feet high. It's still vulnerable to attack. Half a million people live in Chengdu. Now, a battle for the future of mankind between the city dweller and the nomad. Genghis Khan, son of a tribal chief. His father was murdered. He was sent into exile. If you survive a childhood like Chinggis Khan, you're gonna have a chip on your shoulder. You're gonna wanna prove to everybody they were wrong. You're gonna wanna prove that you know what you're doing. You're gonna wanna prove that you're the baddest guy on the block. He escapes his captors, fights his way to the top, unites the Mongols, and begins a campaign of conquest that will change the world. The key to his success? Of course. Domesticated 5,000 years earlier in Central Asia, horses have expanded mankind's frontiers. The Mongols can cover up to 300 miles in a day. Using the horse for warfare unlocks a new key for mankind. If we go back to the Mongols fighting against the Chinese, what we see is the first trip point in a history that will eventually bring us to the tank. And that trip point is horses. Mongols start on horseback, age three. They learn to ride without using reins. Well, when they encountered humans on foot, to the Mongols, those humans were a lot like sheep. You could scare them, you could bully them, they'd run. They can shoot at full gallop. the first version of the Blitzkrieg. It is being able to ride into a place, do damage, and then disappear before anybody even knows what hit him. Mongol warriors have four horses each. They can eat and sleep on horseback. No army will travel so far and so fast until World War II. they would travel faster than the news of their arrival. Climate change is one of the keys to the human story and drives the Mongols to change the world. Ninety-three million miles from Earth, a surge in solar activity. Blasts of radiation scorch the planet. It's the beginning of three centuries of global warming. Climatic changes in the ancient world, in the pre-modern world, directly affected historical events. In Mongolia, drought turns pasture into desert. To survive, the Mongols sweep south 
towards China, the great power in Asia, home to the biggest cities in the world. China is the great prize. If you can conquer China, you conquer the land of infinite supplies, grain, of silk, of tea. China is the richest prize that Mongols can possibly take. Approaching Chengdu, Genghis Khan issues an ultimatum. Surrender or die. Mongol cruelty is legend. Prisoners decapitated. Towers of human skulls. Children slaughtered. I imagine for someone sitting in a city, looking out over the wall, and seeing the massive Mongol horde is coming in your direction, you have to immediately question yourself as to why am I still in this city? I need to leave or I'm dead. Genghis Khan rapes so many women that as many as one in 200 people alive today carry his genes. The greatest happiness is to gather into your bosom your enemies' wives and daughters. 60,000 women, it is said, prefer suicide to being raped by the Mongols. Horses get the Mongols to the city gates, but no further. To take the city, they use Chinese engineers and force them to build battering rams. Prisoners of war attacking their own city. To defend themselves, Chengdu's soldiers must kill their own people. If the gate breaks, the city falls. overrun Chengdu. Massacre over a hundred thousand people, then torch the city. The Mongols were an unbelievably effective military force. If they had a target that they wanted to take, no one stood in their way. An eyewitness reports. The earth was greasy with human fat. In his lifetime, Genghis Khan is said to be responsible for the death of up to 40 million people, as many as Adolf Hitler. He conquers more land in 25 years than Rome did in 400. Four and a half million square miles. The largest empire so far in human history. And the key to its success, communication. Six hundred years before the Pony Express, the Mongols can send messages by horseback across an area twice the size of the United States.
Every 30 miles, a relay post with 400 horses. Government messengers carrying an official medallion can claim food in a fresh mount. The world's first passport. As a result of Genghis Khan's conquests, for the first time in history, one can safely travel from one end of the world to the other end. Paper, printing, and gunpowder will head from east to west. All keys to the future of mankind. But at the same time, a killer is on the loose. That'll wipe out up to half of Europe's population. <laughs>